did find this to be tricky. Um, let's see. So we got enable dynamics and yeah. So let's just uh, let that bullet dynamics simulation run. Not the most precise simulation, but uh, yeah, it works okay. Right. Um, what I'll do, let's see if we can get this to work. Let's see. BDD scan, that's from default. Just say, why well, is this always ending up in the wrong directory? Um, okay, so I'll just say. Saved should be located here. Here it is. You can see it's quite a small file size. It's uh, for um, four megabytes. An MDD would be forty. So DP also made a um, BDD player. So let's activate that one and uh, turn off uh, Dynamics. By the way, and load that very scene or uh, file. So now, when I scrub this, it should. goes like that. I'm not sure what's up with this one. That's strange. Anyway, so but then I thought, you know, since I got that uh, BDD motion scanned, maybe I could then replace that with another object. We could have a look at, for example, this object here looks a bit different. So let's go to layout, replace it with that one, and it looks like that. You can see that definitely doesn't work, so I'm not sure why that is. Or, or rather, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way how to use scan a lower risk object and then use a high risk object later on. Um, let's turn this off and um, instead let's go to hard effects and load uh, load a motion. So that's the one we saved. Okay, can't match it, but you know that's much closer. But you will get, yeah, you can see it, it flickers and pieces jump all over the place. So it's definitely not working, but it's better. 
So not sure why the Hard um, uh, player is better. Let's go for uh, the lower subject again. You can still see that we've got this piece here, and I'm not sure why that is, why it's behaving like that. I can't re really recall uh, or remember it operating like that um, when I used um, bullet. Did it? So it's doing something wrong there in the scan, which is not cool, but okay. I guess you'll have to fix that using a re-simulating or, or doing things over again or uh, using edit effects, I don't know. There's, yeah, you can see there's a small bug there, uh, it's for hard effects, doesn't do quite what it should. Almost there, but not 100%. Hmm. This one is also quite wild. Let's see. Turn that off. See that we don't have that part rotate rotating like that. Um, yeah. So you should be aware of this if you bake to a BDD file. Um, But the good the good thing is that I can use I can use uh, or I can subdivide this. But anyway, let's turn off those dynamics and activate hard effects again. And it's almost correct, just not quite. So this this guy here, I don't know. I, I would just remove it really. because it's, it's spinning like crazy. And this one as well, I don't know. Um, probably I, I would fix it by using edit effects. So this one, this piece here, I would use edit effects and just move it below the ground so it's out of the way. And this guy here, I would use edit effects and move it inside the object. And yeah. So you can kind of clean that up. Alright, so this is playing uh, alright. And if I go to VPR now, let's see how it looks. But let's take a wireframe overlay. You can see that this is low res. Let's replace that with a 
subdivided object. This one. And you can see it actually works. So it's using that same motion data, but it's having but it's a much more dense mesh. Let's replace that object again with the lowest one. And what we're gonna do is let's see. I couldn't really get I couldn't really when using M, uh, BDD, I wasn't able to displace the geometry. Um, so I tried to displace the map, it didn't work. It, using nodes didn't work, and I could bump through, through the node displacement or bump didn't work. But what worked was, let's see, uh, this classic normal displacement and so if I use that so I can say 0.5 then I can say texture and I'll just use uh, procedural in this case I don't know something like that does it Yeah, so it does it does work. Uh, the reason why I did this to the Loris object is because um, it can take some time to add the displacement. So if you save the file, um, well actually you don't need to save the file, but anyway, so it, it's. I just feel that it's better to do it to the lower subject. You don't really have to, but uh, if I was to do this to the higher object, it would things would be slower. Anyway, so replace object with the hardest one. Uh, and that should work. That should add. Yeah, so as you can see, it's now uh, much much slower in regards to adding that normal displacement. So kind of a conclusion here is that I was kind of like surprised that it didn't work uh, flawlessly. Um, but then again it does kind of work using proxy objects so using a low res simulation and replacing that with uh, high res uh, objects okay so this is going to take some time and the reason why this uh, normal displacement does take time is because uh, it's adding the displacement to all of the frames, so that's 150 frames. So it will take a few minutes. So if this scene was to be much larger, then uh, then um, that would take 30 minutes, or or even an hour, or or more. But anyway, I just wanted to test this uh, and, and see how it worked. It would be interesting to see how this, uh, how to go about this in Houdini or other programs. See what the speed is like and how it operates. But yeah, um, there it is. So that took like what, five minutes, four minutes? So that's. Um, So 
if I'm to save the scene now and, and load it um, you know the second day or, or whatever then um, it will take time to load uh, so just be aware of that let's just turn off this wireframe and you can see that's uh, the rocks using a displacement procedure so again I would remove some of that using edit effects shown in another video So yeah, um, it kind of works. I'm just wondering if, if uh, anybody else have any one done this. I guess just I couldn't find any info on it on the new tech forums or such. But there it is. BDD. Oh, there is actually one thing that I forgot to show you. Uh, don't think it really matters all that much, though. So yeah, the thing I, w I would probably I would try to scan BDD, scan it using the Dpont plugin, because that's faster. And then use the reader uh, and hard effects because that seems to be more precise, much more precise. Um, yeah, so that's a deep point scan, and that's just that's gonna. Um, load faster uh, I mean scan faster you, you could scan it in hard effects without the plugin deep on plugin as well um, if I so let's just add a second instance here if I was to do that I would set this resolution to something high like 10 meters and of course uh, gravity off and all that stuff But what you need to do is you need to set that to fixed. And then after having simulated the, the run the, the bullet simulation, you would then have to scan the bullet simulation using hard effects simulation and just hit calculate. Uh, it will calculate fairly fast but not nearly as fast at all as uh, uh, Deepon's uh, plugin, uh, the BDD, uh, what's it called, the BDD scan. But it's actually possible, which is kind of cool, to first uh, simulate with bullet and then add hard effects on top of that. To a certain degree, um, well, actually, no. I don't think you could. I don't think you could mix the two motions. But anyway, this is how you would just uh, freeze everything, so so to speak, by using fixed and no gravity, of course. And you would just then say, um, uh, save the motion. Uh, save the BDD motion. Okay, lots and uh, lots of notes on this, but yeah. I can 
some I can see some shattered pattern here. I'm not quite sure how to get rid of that, but I think that's for another video. Um, if anyone has another solution, then um, I did try scanning MBD, it didn't work. If anyone has a, a, a well, of course it's, it works scanning with MBD, uh, but it uh, I can't replace it with a hardest object. There, there is a way, and that is using scanning with MDD cage and putting uh, the objects inside that cage using a meta cage or a meta link. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah. But it wouldn't work. It would be kind of like a hassle because you would have to fit the pieces uh, within the cage. Um, so that, I mean, that's a solution as well. Uh, and sometimes that will actually be a better solution. So we'll actually have. Uh, dynamic objects inside those uh, cages but for this kind of stuff no uh, the best solution seems to be this um, but all right this is a long enough video so please screen if you have another better solution